We're here with head cross country coach Ray Appenheimer to talk about the upcoming NCAC championships. Um, coach, uh, obviously the women's team looking for its fifth straight title. Um, the men also have a chance to be up there in that top three. So first let's talk about uh, this women's unit uh, coming off the, the rumble two weeks ago now and then uh, how are we from a, from a health standpoint? Are we all ready and healthy? We're, we're, we're ready to go in the workouts the last two weeks over fall break and, and this week have just looked great. Uh, I think this is going to be certainly the best team that we've put on the line all season long. Um, you know, our captain Lauren Taylor is right back at it. Emma Lehman is in great shape. You know, you know, Carrie, Lindsay, Sarah Jane, Molly, all ready to go and hopefully, you know, bring back, you know, our fifth straight. Yeah, you know, talk about the course that you're going to see uh, out at Allegheny, a chance to visit that course earlier in the year. So what do you take away from that early visit? You know, obviously the weather conditions might be a little bit different uh, come Saturday. The, the weather in Meadville is always unpredictable. They're, I mean, I think they're talking about 40 degrees, maybe some rain. Um, but no, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's a western Pennsylvania course, a lot of up and down. Uh, no, no steep or staggering hills, but you're always going to be climbing, you're always going to be coming downhill on this course. So it means you have to pay attention, and you've got to really be aggressive on the downhills. And I think when we, you know, when we went out there in September, we really emphasized that. Running the top of these hills, running beyond the hills, and taking advantage of the downhills. And I think the teams executed both in the men's and the women's did really, really well. So hopefully they can move forward and be confident going into Saturday. Yeah, and then look at the, looking at this men's unit, a, a young team. I mean, obviously we talked about Gino all year. You have a couple guys behind him with Leo and EJ Douglas. So uh, what are your expectations for this group, a, a group that just kind of continues to improve uh, with each race? Yeah, I mean, they, it hasn't been surprising, but I've been really pleased with how they've comported themselves, how poised they've been throughout the year. And if they can do that again on Saturday, I mean, I really think you're looking at a third-place team, which would be great, which would be outstanding. Um, yeah, but the guy's been great. And, you know, the guy you didn't mention, Josh Urso, right. has been our second or third guy the entire year. This is a guy who on the track runs the 400 and the 800. And to ask him to run so well at 8,000 meters is such a treat, such a boon for us, um, because the kid's tough and the kid's stubborn. And the kid's going to get out there and just be a little bit over his head, uh, but bite down and then be really tough. And I think that that kind of attitude has really kind of transcended that that, that men's team, where I mean they're, they're, they they want to they want to get out a little bit faster. They want to really challenge themselves um, and just see how close to second place they can be. Thanks, coach. Good luck to you. Thank you.